Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Crosstown Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. It's your boy Matt here uh, with a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT in matte black. Underneath that hood you're going to find the 6.4 liter SRT V8 engine, this incredible engine. Uh, you can go from 0 to 100 in under 4 seconds, it's absolutely nuts. Get the nice big hood scoops there. <coughs> The blacked out front grille and it does have park sense sensors um, in the bumper as well coming on down to the tire we are going to be riding on 20 inch bridgestone mun snow tires that tread is fantastic yet these blacked out rims look an absolutely beast and uh of course the <laughs> my mic's falling out and the uh disc brakes on all four tires as well <clears throat> we do have the breakaway side view mirror here with the sideline indicator. It does have blind spot. Oh, there it is. And defrost as well. All four windows roll down all the way. You got some tinting in the back. And that matte black. Ooh, that looks so good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop inside though because it's freaking cold out. Here we go. Alrighty, helping you inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee. You got your keyless entry on your proximity key. Panic button down below the one or remote start. We're going to go ahead and press that twice. <clears throat> Lights kind of flash twice and it's going to start up here. Got your trunk opener there, oh, trunk opener here as well. And the unlock button, you press that once, fewer door, twice for all doors. Or check this out, you stick this in your pocket, take your hand, and pop it in the handle, and it unlocks for you. <clears throat> your inside door panel, you got some nice tint, uh, some nice leather stitching, that cool accent on the top, power locks, windows, mirrors, the Harman card and speakers there. Great storage space, this is your uh, memory seating. You do have your directional vents, headlights with your automatic so you can set it and forget it. And then you do have the leather into your seating, the SRT stitching. Fantastic electronic seat adjusters as well. Just making it easy to find that sweet spot. Whew. Ooh, look at the pedals too. Baller. Oh my goodness, it is so freaking cold out. So, because it is <clears throat> a proximity key, that does mean it is a push start. So we're just going to... Toss in the cup holders there. Give this button a push. Ooh, and the seat moves forward to the uh, memory spot. And look at that display. That is sweet. So here we're on the speed. Looks like it's time for an oil change. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> so on this display, we're going to go through it using these five buttons on the steering wheel. You get your speed there, zero kilometers an hour. And check this out. You also change it to the the classic display there. Um, we are sitting at 13,215 kilometers, so you should still have a bounce factory warranty. Just make sure when you come up, sit down with a product specialist, find out you know just how much warranty is left on the vehicle and what extra warranty options that we might have available for you. <clears throat> now, if you if you leave that on, everything's in the middle. I'm just going to switch to this just so we can focus on what we're looking at here. So you can change that to miles per hour just in case you do go to the States. You also got your <coughs> vehicle info with your tire pressure your fluid at temperature, pressure, oil life. Look at that, we need an oil change. Um, and battery voltage, it's pretty cool, good to know. You got your uh, <coughs> select track, your terrain. So it is an automatic right now, adapts to the road conditions. And then there's a the drivetrain there, baller. Get your adaptive cruise control, uh, that's really handy. I'll explain that in a bit here. Fuel economy, trip A and B, both resettable. Your audio, your messages. Let us know to get an oil change. Man, that's so handy. My car's too old. I just have to pay attention to the kilometers. So this is this is one of the coolest features this thing has. So this is the SRT performance. So it keeps track of of your performance. So zero to hundred kilometers. The best this person's done is the previous owner is five point one seconds to get from 0 to 100. Um, really cool that it keeps track of that. Uh, 0 to 200 meters, best is 8.8 .8 seconds. 0 to 400 meters, 14 seconds. Your braking distance, your G-forces. So <clears throat> um, it, it kind of lets you know what G-forces are going on right now. And this is, of course, your peak G-forces. Now it's really cool. Uh, one G-force is equivalent to the gravity keeping you on the Earth. But, <clears throat> of course, you feel it in different directions um and then 2g force is two times that feeling so it's really really cool uh how that you know 
that keeps track of that <clears throat> and that you actually feel that in this vehicle. <clears throat> Moving on, I think uh, a Bugatti Veyron is something like 1.4 G-Force at the most. So yeah, I, d I did a little research for you guys. I care. Uh, you got your view di diagnostic codes there and back to the start. I will put it on that because it looks baller. All right, so you got your leather wrap steering wheel here. <clears throat> Very grippy, and it's heated, which is super nice. Especially since it's, it says minus 23. It's minus 34 with a wind chill. That's not nice. You got your voice recognition system down here, your cruise control on the right-hand side, and this is your adaptive cruise control. So you can match the speed of the car in front of you. You can decrease the gap between the car in front of you, and, of course, increase that gap. So really cool. You know, you don't have to be... Um, braking and then you have to turn on your cruise control every now and then like because the guy in front of you changes their speed constantly uh, you also have paddle shifters and then there are little buttons behind here that do let you change the radio station let's get it there we go there we are and on the right hand side you can crank that crank up the volume <clears throat> so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel the Adam McHale Show. Join the conversation. Now radio. Nearly 41 Albertans. Adam McHale going. Sweet. All right. So speaking of this, look at, we got the touch screen. So you got your AM, your FM, <clears throat> your Let's Go, Let's Go, satellite radio. You got your media. So you got your USB auxiliary Bluetooth NSD card. Uh, so you can, you know, jam out to your own music and avoid those pesky radio ads. <clears throat> you do have controls as well. Heated seats, uh, I'm loving them right now. I, you know, I, I do all these videos and I can't believe my car doesn't have heated seats. It, it makes me, makes me sad. It makes my bum sad. You got your heated steering wheel as well, and then vented seats, <clears throat> which in the summertime, you know, you got that hot sun. You do have the black leather in here. It's gonna absorb that that heat. The vented seats, where'd that go? Come on. Uh, the vented seats is gonna be great. It, it, you know, it keeps you really comfortable. Get your dual zone climate control uh, for you and your passenger. You'll both be happy at your different temperatures. Of course, cranked it because it's, uh, it's so cold. Navigation system, you go to view map. You can see we are on the corner of 156th Street and Yellowhead Trail. Come on out. Book yourself a test drive. This thing is an absolute beast. Get your phone set up as well. We're not going to set that up because that's for your phone. <clears throat> and your settings, your performance pages, all that jazz. All the good stuff. Now down below, you have your uh, hazard lights there. Climate control and real life buttons. It's your park sense sensors, which um, I'll explain in a second here. Your collision avoidance, eco mode, tra traction control. Down here, if we push that, lifts up. And then in here, you're going to find your auxiliary USB SD port and a 12 volt DC outlet. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's where you control through that media menu. Cup holders, of course. And then here, if we pop, pop this into reverse, you know, see we've got the backup camera with the grid lines that do follow the wheels. And <clears throat> you do have your park sense is ready. So as we back up, if something is behind us, um, there's going to be sensors in the back that pick it up. And it'll kind of show which side of the vehicle it's on. And it'll beep. And the faster the beeping, the closer you're getting to hit it. So make sure you pay attention to that. Because that would not be good. You get your select terrain here. Sport, track, snow, and tow. Um, snow, definitely here. It's important. And then you have your launch button. So this is really cool. I'm, uh, I've never actually used it because the speeding limit is 10 here, but uh, from what I've read, you just press this button, uh, hold the brake, you rev the engine until it gets to a certain RPM, and then you take your foot off the brake, and it, it tells you when, and take your foot off the brake, and it just, boom, launches you, and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be nuts. It's center console here, the first layer, it's a nice shallow storage space, second layer, there's some stuff in there we'll clean up for you before we, you know, pass the car over to you. But 12-volt DC outlet in there as well. And there's a little LED light. Cool. Cool beans. Up on the roof, we do have the panoramic sunroof. goes all the way back. Making those nighttime drives absolutely awesome for your passengers. They can look up in the, the starry sky. Ooh, especially when you're going through the mountains. And in this thing, like, you can rip through there. That'd be awesome. Um, it is powered. We're not going to open it because it's hella cold out, so... Sunglass holder here. Ooh, you got your button to open up the trunk. And that's the front seat. So there's lots going on. There's, it's so fun. You gotta, you gotta come test this thing out. It's, it is 
BA. Um, but we're gonna go take a look at the back seat and the uh, and the trunk space. Here we go. All right, here we are making our way to the back seat. The door opens quite wide, still. Uh, you do have lots of room to get in there. Uh, the door panel and the leather interior seating is going to match the front, keeping that consistency throughout. you got the hard vinyl on the back seats, uh, so you got a little feet kicking it, a cargo slamming into it. It's going to keep it nice and safe. Uh, you do have map pockets as well. And then check out the center console here. Uh, you do have your USB ports, 150-volt outlet, and heated seats. Ah, absolutely spoil your passengers back here. You get that view. It's quite the solar flare or solar glare. Um, here you do have your center console or center armrest, cup holders. Uh, other words, I don't know why I'm struggling here, but um, you have the 60 40 split as well. So here we go. We're just going to pull this, check this out. Brings this forward. The headrests snap forward as well so they don't get caught on the seat in front. And now all of this space just got added to the cargo. Absolutely fantastic. And again, that vinyl's gonna protect anything that's sliding up and, you know, if you gotta brake hard, you, you never know. All right. <clears throat> and that back end, just absolutely sweet. Got the dual exhaust tips, the park sense sensors. I left it running so it's nice and warm when I get back in. And check this out, we're just gonna press that button. It opens up automatically. You got the backup camera there as well. This power lift gate is pretty sweet. You got uh, some nice storage on the left here. A little, I can't, I can't. These freaking gloves. Ah, there we go. Um, it's got a flashlight that charges as you drive, which is really cool just in case, you know, you never know. Um, under here, you're going to find some fantastic storage space, nice spot for a spare tire, and then of course your, oops, come on now, there we go. So that's going to cover up your cargo, you know, make sure you don't get any of those window shoppers, might want to break in, those people suck. Anyway, and then it's going to push this button, and it's going to close up for us. Oh yeah, look at all that space. Noise. Alright. Moving on. On this side. <clears throat> Again, we're just going to pull this. Brings this down, headrest snaps forward, and now all this space is, is part, of, part of the cargo room. And you know what they say, or at least what I say. It's better to have space and not need it than to need space and not have it. Alright, you got your lockable glove box here. And the, the heat vent blasting right on my face feels so good. Um, yeah, just a fantastic ride inside and out. Thank you so much for going through this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. If you do have any questions or you'd like to book yourself a test drive, we are just a click or call away. My name is Matt here at Crosstown. Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and you have yourselves a fantastic day.